guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And as you can see behind me, it's done. The garage expansion project is finished. And uh, if we scroll up a little bit here, you'll see that the antenna tower of 2018, the big tower project, is in fact finished. And it was a bear. Um, putting it together turned out to be relatively inexpensive because I had a lot of the components laying around. I had got a lot of stuff on clearance. But, uh, well, let's take a walk around back and I'll show you up close and then we'll come back here and wrap it up. Okay, well here it is. And already you can see there's some changes from my original design. So we talked about in my last video how instead of using an 8 foot section on top of that 16 foot section, uh, due to the weight constraints, I went with just a plain 16 foot board. And I was going to use smaller side beams here to hold this thing together, but after dealing with the massive weight of pushing all that stuff up there, I decided to support it a little bit more. Luckily, I got all these 4x4x16s on clearance at Lowe's. They cost me less than $4 a piece, so I'm still under budget. I'm under my $75 budget, if you can imagine that. <laughs> Maybe not with screws and stuff, but the tower itself, yes, it's there. So we have it on a hinged platform, but I hope I never have to raise this thing or lower it again until maybe I move off the mountain, which should be many, many years from now, because it is a beast. And in order to get it up, it was laying over that way, as we showed in the last video. We used a rope tied to the top of this thing with a tractor over on that side of the building, me over here pushing up on it with another tractor, and inch by inch by inch we pushed this thing into position. And let me tell you, it was hairy. But it's up there, and it's at 34. Four feet, 35 feet, somewhere right around there, and I'm very proud of it. So we're going to go ahead and pan the camera up slightly, and I'll show you the beginning, the bottom part of the tower, which is uh, about uh, 20 feet. The antennas are actually ranging from 22 to 24 feet up. And as you can see over here closest, you have one of these very inexpensive, and I've made another video you'll see another time, but there's a very inexpensive UHF, VHF TV antenna that had, came with a little built-in rotor. And I did that so I could try to get maybe one or two TV stations out in the garage when I'm working on projects. You know, I've mentioned maybe doing more restorations this coming winter. So that was for that. Off to the other side, you do see I finally got the two meter ham directional antenna mounted. Um, the first time this tower went up, that did not get put in the proper position, but it's there and it is adjustable, uh, although a little bit hairy to do so. Now above that is an unexpected thing. I decided since the Antron was still working, and since the cable going to the Antron was still in fairly decent shape, that I would go ahead and remount it in a lower position. It's actually about the same height it was before, but I left it up, and I'm going to be able to use that for other projects. I might get an antenna tuner, try to pick up an HF rig for ham radio, or who knows what I'll do. But it's up there. I can use it for uh, AM radio. I can use it for whatever. Scanner. As long as I've got it up there, I might as well take advantage of having a, a working antenna, so I left it there. And then as we scan up even farther into the sky, way up there at 35 feet, give or take, is the IMAX 2000 from SolarCon. And it is up there. It's, uh, it's quite impressive to look at uh, when the sun's shining on it. And, uh, you know, right now the sun's about to go down, but I wanted to get this video done um, before, uh, before anything had a chance to change. But <laughs> anyway, that is it. I am Eric, and uh, let's go back out front and we'll say goodnight. So that's it. It was one heck of a crazy ride, having to take it all the way up and then bring it all the way back down, only to bring it back up again with new wiring again, was uh, a task in itself. But it's done. I'm very happy with it. And, uh, well, that's it for tonight. I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Something that needs a little fixing